Congratulations! Your website is finally ready. But does this mean that your work here is done? No, this is not the end. This is not even the beginning of the end. Now it's time for you to add and improve both content and features to your website. Here are a few tips from my post-launch checklist. So the first thing you need to do is to make sure that your website is visible for search engines. And as you can see in the dashboard here, it says search engines discouraged. So it's pretty popular that when you start building your website, you go to settings and reading. And here you can turn off search engine visibility because you don't want index uh, Google to index your website before it's uh, ready for launch. But then it's very easy to forget to uncheck this checkbox and save it. So this is a little bit like opening a store, but you forget to unlock the doors on the opening day. So don't forget to do this in order to not block out Google and other search engines. Another tip is that you can go to divimundo.com. You go to resources and plugin and tools. And here I list my favorite Divi plugins. And this is a great way to add extra functionality and features to Divi. For example, one of my favorites is Divi Supreme Pro. You double the amount, amount of modules with more than 40 extra modules, like animated text, opening hours, floating images, carousels, icons, and all that kind of stuff. You also get some extra functionality like pop-ups and in, an uh, improved uh, menu for Divi. So you can just have a quick look at some of the modules. So here we have a flipbox. Looks really nice. Another Divi Supreme Pro module is this one, the Divi typing effect, the typewriter effect. I think it looks really nice and you have lots of options here. And as you can see, you use the Divi Builder interface to style this. So it's really user friendly. Another, another module is the business hours. Maybe not that flashy, but uh, very useful if you have opening hours on your website. And just another example, we have the before and after slider. So I can just drag this slider here and the same thing for this one. And you can also, of course, tweak the overlay and the colors here. So this is just four out of plus 40 extra modules that you get with Divi Supreme Pro. So you find an affiliate link in the uh, affiliate link in the description below this video if you want to try out Divi Supreme Pro. Another plugin that I like a lot is Divi Toolbox. It's a good way to fill in the gaps in Divi. So Divi Toolbox uh, adds new functionality for the mobile and desktop menu in Divi. So that's a really big plus. You can also create pop-ups. You can embed modules in other modules. You can add animated preloaders. You can change the number of columns in mobile or in tablet. You have more blog layouts, more social media icons, and lots of other stuff. And I especially like the mobile features that you can do a lot of tweaks for mobile with Divi Toolbox. So there's an affiliate link to Divi Toolbox as well in the description below the video or on divimundo.com. Another plugin that I like a lot and use on, on most of my Divi website is Divi Blog Extras. So Divi comes with a Divi Blog module. And um, I think it's a nice module. You have two basic designs. You have the blog grid and you have the full width design. But maybe you want to have more design options. Then Divi Blog Extras is perfect for you. You have more than 10 different layout options like box extended, grid extended, block extended, masonry, classic, full width, full width with background. You have sliders. And this is, of course, fully compatible with the Divi Theme Builder. And you can use it for custom post types. So just to have a brief look, we have some design examples here. The box extended, the grid extended the block extended in three versions. And something that I really like with this option is that you can see that they have the same height. And this is something that is kind of hard to achieve with the, the Divi blog module. So this is a really nice improvement. You have the masonry, you have the classic blog with the button, full width, 
people with a background, etc. etc. So this is a really powerful plugin if you are using the blog feature a lot. The last plugin that I would like to uh, highlight is Diviform DB. And this is a small lightweight plugin and it's really cheap. And it adds functionality to the DV form module. So by default, the DV forms can only trigger an email when someone submits a form. And uh, what if your email gets lost or if you want to export all the form submissions to an Excel file? Well, here is where DV form DB comes in. So if we take a look here, you can see that once we install this plugin, you get a list of all contact form submissions from the DV form module. And then you can view the submission. You can see who sent it, if it's read or unread. You can see which page it was submitted on and on which date. And you can, of course, also export um, all the form submissions from different pages to a CSV file and open it in, for example, Excel or Google Sheets. So this is a lightweight plugin and I have been using it for several, year, several years and it's up to date and works really fine. So that makes one of my favorite modules, the DV4 module, even more powerful. Okay, so one last advice that is to follow the blog on divimundo.com. For example, there are six tips for a better DV mobile menu. And I also have a checklist, 10, 10 things to do after a WordPress website launch, which, which could be relevant, relevant for you right now. So if you don't want to miss anything from the blog, you can browse to the footer of the page and you can sign up for my newsletter. And uh, I will keep you up to date when I add something new to the site. That's all. Thank you for tuning in and listening to this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If so, feel free to leave a comment below or even a thumbs up. And uh, I wish you good luck with your WordPress projects in the future. Bye bye.